Another category for solving systems of equations once we get past graphing and tables is to solve algebraically. Now algebraic methods for solving are broken down into two types, substitution and elimination. The first we're going to examine is substitution. Just like at school when a substitute is present, it is a person who takes the place of your normal teacher. So when we're solving by substitution in systems of equations, we're going to find an equivalent value that we can replace one of our variables with to simplify the equation. So a couple of steps involved here and we'll go over them as we work through this problem. In the system of equations, x plus 3y equals 5 and negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 5, our first step is going to be to isolate one of the variables in one of the equations. You can see that in the first equation, the x here is isolated already as far as not having a coefficient other than 1. But we need to get it completely by itself. So I'm going to solve this equation for x by subtracting 3y from each side. So I have x equals negative 3y plus 5. And then I'm going to take that new value for x and substitute it into the other equation where x is located. So I now have a negative 2 times the value of x, which is negative 3y minus plus 5, minus 4y equals a negative 5. Now, I have an equation of only one variable, and I can solve for that. So I'm going to distribute my negative 2. I end up with 6y minus 10 minus 4y equals a negative 5. Combine my like terms, so I get 2y minus 10 equals negative 5. Now it's a two-step equation. I add 10 to each side, 2y equals 5. Divide by 2, I come out with y is 2 and a half. Now that I have a value for y, I'm going to take this and put it back into one of my two original equations to find the other value. I choose to do it into the first equation. So x plus 3 times y, which is 2 and a half, has to equal 5. So that's x plus 7 and a half is equal to 5. Subtract 7 and a half and x is a negative 2 and a half. So my solution to this system of equations is the point negative 2 and a half, positive 2 and a half. And we would check this by taking these values and substituting them back into the second equation and making sure it works. So just to show that it does work, we have a negative 2 times a negative 2 and a half minus 4 times 2 and a half and that is supposed to equal a negative 5. Negative 2 times negative 2 and a half is 5. 4 times 2 and a half is a negative 10. And that's supposed to equal a negative 5. Negative 5 minus 10 is negative 5. So indeed, this does work. So we isolate one of the variables, substitute it into the other equation, solve for one variable, and then take that and substitute it back and solve for the second variable. Let's see how this could apply in a real life. So an online music store sells music to new com customers at a rate of 15 songs for $19.75 or 40 songs for $43.50. Each price includes a one-time fee and a set cost per song. What is the fee and what is that cost? So we need to take this information and write it out into a system of equations. So we know we have 15 songs for 1975 and that includes the fee. So I have a fee plus I get 15 songs for $19.75. Then I get 40 songs for $43.50. So again, that is the fee plus 40 songs is $43.50. And I'm going to solve this for the fee and the cost per song. 
Now I can take either equation and isolate one of the variables. I choose to do it with the second one. So f is equal to negative 40 s plus 43 50. Then take that and substitute it back in to equation number 1. So I have a negative 40 s plus 43 50 plus 15 s equals 1975. The parentheses here don't make much of a difference, so I'm going to simply combine like terms. Negative 40s plus 15s is a negative 25s plus 4350 is 1975. Subtract my 4350. That tells me a negative 25s is equal to negative 2375. So dividing both of these by a negative 25, I come out with S equaling 95 hundredths. So each song under this plan cost 95 cents. And if each song costs 95 cents, what's our fee going to be? So we're going to take that and go F plus 15 times the 95 cents equals 1975. Multiplying, we have F plus 1425 is equal to 1975. Subtracting that 1425, we have F is 550. So to get yourself set up on this music plan, it's $5.50, and then each song is going to cost you 95 cents once you're up and going. Now, solving by substitution is one method. Let's take a look. And just like elimination sounds like, we are getting rid of an unwanted value. What we need to do is be able to add equations or subtract equations in such a way that a variable is completely eliminated, hence the name. So in this first system of equations, negative 2x plus 8y equals negative 8, and 5x minus 8y equals 20, we have the convenience that both of the equations have a form of 8y. One of them is positive, the other one is negative. Because my signs are different, I'm going to add these two equations together. So negative 2x plus 5x is simply 3x. 8y plus a negative 8y is 0, thereby eliminating that. Negative 8 plus 20 is equal to 12. So I have the equation 3x equals 12. Simplifying, solving this down, dividing each side by 3, I have x equals 4. Now, knowing that x is 4, I'm going to use this to find a value for y. I can substitute it back into either of the original equations. I choose to do the first. So negative 2 times 4 plus 8y equals negative 8. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Adding 8 to each side, I have 8y equals 0, so y is equal to 0. This gives me a solution to the system of equations of 4, 0. Checking that in the other, going to do a quick talk through. 4 times 5 is 20. 8 times 0 is 0. 20 minus 0 is equal to 20. So we do have a valid solution for this system. S using elimination for solving systems of equations is very nice and convenient when you have the same number of a particular variable in both equations. But what happens if we end up with something like what is seen here in the second example where we don't have the same number of x's or the same number of y's? In this equation, 3x plus 7y equals 15 and 5x plus 2y equals a negative 4. What I need to do is manipulate my equations in such a way that I end up with either the same number of x's or the same number of y's. I choose to make the x's the same. 
So what is the least common multiple of these coefficients? For 3 and 5, that is 15. So I'm going to multiply my first equation by 5 to give me 15x's. I end up with 15x plus 35y equals 75. My second equation, in order to get 15 for the x's, I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 3. So I end up with 15x plus 6y equals a negative 12. Now to solve this, I'm simply going to subtract the second equation from the first one. 15x minus 15x is 0, thereby I've eliminated it. 35y minus 6y is 29y. 75 minus a negative 12 is equal to 87. Dividing both sides by 29 in order to isolate the y, I come out with y is equal to 3. Now I'm going to take that 3 value and substitute it back into one of the originals. I choose to use the first one. 3x plus 7 times 3 has to equal 15. So 3x plus 21 is 15. Subtracting 21, I have 3x is equal to a negative 6. Dividing by 3, I have x is equal to a negative 2. Now let's do this as a talk through to check it. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 10 plus 6 is a negative 4. So my solution to this system of equations is negative 2, 3. When we are going through and solving systems of equations, we have special considerations, and we discuss these during the graphing and tables method. You know, parallel lines or the same line written in two different ways. How do these show up in an algebraic method? Special cases of the systems of equations will be shown here. We have the system 3x minus 6y equals 9, and y equals 1 half x minus 1 and a half. I'm going to solve this by substitution, simply because I already have one of my variables completely isolated. So substituting this into the first equation, I have 3x minus 6 times 1 half x minus 1 and a half is equal to 9. So distributing, I end up with 3x minus 3x plus 9 is equal to 9. Simplifying on the left-hand side, 3x plus 3, 3x minus 3x is equal to 0. So all I'm left with is 9 equals 9. You notice in this equation there's no variable, and I have a sentence that is true. 9 is indeed equal to 9. So, this means, whenever you have the situation, that there is an infinite number of solutions. This is the same equation written two different ways. Now let's take a look at the other. Negative x plus y equals negative 2. 2x minus 2y equals 0. This is set up nicely to work for either substitution or elimination. To get some practice, I'm going to choose elimination. I'm going to double the entire first equation and write it right underneath. So what I end up with is a negative 2x plus 2y equals a negative 4. Adding these two equations together, I end up with 2x plus a negative 2x, which is 0. Negative 2y plus 2y, which is also 0. 0 plus a negative 4, which is a negative 4. Simplifying, I have 0 is equal to negative 4. Here, like the last equation system, we have a sentence, mathematical sentence, involving no variables. But this one is not true. 0 is not equal to a negative 4. So what this means is that there is no solution. Graphically, this would be a set of parallel lines 
so they will never have a point of intersection. Algebraically, we end up with a sentence that is not true. So substitution and elimination are the two most common methods for solving systems of equations. Make sure you understand how to do these because we're going to be using them with linear equations and others as we move forward.